So prior to launch, um, I like to use a tool called Backer Database, um, and this has a ton of great information. And um, the, the biggest thing that I want to get out of this is actually the um, the Backer data, right? So let's go ahead and log in here. So I'm, I've, I've got an account, so let me just go ahead and log in here real quick. All right, so once we get in here, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the sides here. Um, I don't really worry about it, about it too much because some of the stuff isn't built out that well. So this is definitely a, um, I wouldn't say a, an amazing tool, um, but for what it does do in terms of the backer database, this is really what I'm in here for. Some of the other stuff is just, like I said, not working quite that well. Um, and also some of like the media data I found is a little bit outdated. So like this media database right here. Um, I get quite a few bounce backs and I, I don't find the information to be um, that up to date. So, but what I do like is actually the backer database. So let's go ahead and go into here and sh I'll show you what I, uh, what I like to do, um, you know, months before launching a campaign. So go ahead and click on that. So when you get in here, you can see um, a bunch of information uh, of, from uh, backers, right? And, and it's got all of their accounts for you to kind of uh, to do some research on them. So let's go ahead and search, let's just say Kickstarter um, alone here. And let's go into categories. Let's go under, um, let's see here, how about film and video? And we can actually pick how many backers we want them to have backed. So let's just say it's 30. That's a lot of projects to back. And we could put a location in here. Location's a little tricky because you can see how they're marked. So you would have to search like strictly Boston. So this might be good if you were doing something, um, you know, that would be very like targeted focus. Like, you know, if you were just searching for a city, that might be um, something to use. But I tend to leave this kind of open because I, I think with all these projects, we're, we are kind of, we're in a global society here. So, so I try to leave that open at the moment. Um, so as you can see, it's already populated a bunch of people here. So let, let's look at this here. I mean, look at this guy. Ethiopia. He's back 36 projects for film and video uh, on Kickstarter. So we can actually look at his profile. Yeah, so you can see all the projects he's back. So this would be something that if I were to look at this guy and he had projects that I that were sim you know, similar to mine, it looks like he's obviously he's into some games too, it looks like, right? RPG games. This would be a guy that I would find a way to reach out to him. So let's see, I go back and I can see him here. So what I can do now is, let's actually see him on Twitter. And this is him, right? So we could follow him. Uh, we could somehow reach out to him, whatever it might be. Uh, we could also look for him just over on Facebook. We could tweet at him, we could follow him, all through here. So pretty powerful to, to go and find a bunch of people and people that again the important thing is you know these people back on kickstarter look at this guy down here 99 let's check him out cool so not a ton of tweets so definitely this guy would be somebody that would be attainable so this might be something where i would reach out to this guy and see you know try to find a way to interact right he looks like he's a documentarian um rest in beats. So maybe I'd go to the website, I'd click on it. So I would start communicating with this guy. You know, what, you know, this guy, if you're, if you have a film or video project, the chances of this guy backing are pretty high. So, so that's how I'd be looking at this data. And you can see these, this data will go on and on and on. So again, pretty powerful tool. It's not that expensive. Um, and the data from what I can tell when I look into this, it's, it's pretty up to date. So, um, let's go, let's look at another one here. Let's go under photography. So look at this guy. This guy's back 43 projects. Yeah, so again, looks like a pretty cool stuff. I mean, I don't read French, so that might be a little challenging, but I would definitely still go and follow him um, and, and connect with him. Or, you know, uh, you know what? I've actually, um, I've talked to this Elizabeth Carr. Uh, 129 projects she's backed in photography. That's a ton, right? So let's see if we can find her. And I, I bet you I already follow her. Yep, I already do. Because uh, I'm would i thinking about interviewing her for the podcast because I want to get her opinion. So look, women in film mentorship. So this would definitely be somebody that I would reach out to. So, you know, again, 
my goal here is to 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 dive in, find people, find influencers, find people that you know like to back projects, and and um, migrate some of this data over um, and follow these people on Facebook and Twitter and 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 tweet at them and, and interact with them. Get them to be um, friends of yours first before you start selling them something. I think that's the most important thing as, as well. So, all right. If you have any questions on backer database, just uh, shoot me an email, Jeff at Woodshed Agency. Thanks.